Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make roasted red pepper soup. Alrighty, the recipe calls for four peppers, but the first step in making the soup is that I need to roast these. So I have my oven set at 450 degrees, it's nice and hot. I've put a foil down below the rack that I'm gonna put these peppers on, and these will go in for about 40 minutes. I'll turn them every probably 15 minutes to make sure that all the sides are nice and roasted and maybe getting some of the black lines into the oven. Make sure they are nice and dry. The peppers are done. They were in the oven for about 45 minutes and we can see here that the skin is starting to pucker and there's some black on the peppers. You even see here that this side looks burned. It's just the skin. We want to remove the skin anyway so that's a good thing for to have that blister. Into a bowl, cover with foil, cover it tightly and let these sit and cool. And the reason we cover it is because this will make it a lot easier to peel off that skin before we progress with the soup. The roasted red peppers are looking good. So I'm gonna let those sit here for a little bit longer. I've got my pot over here with about a tablespoon of oil in there and my other vegetables that I'm going to use to make the soup. So this combination here of onions, carrots, and celery is your classic mirepoix. And that's what we use as a base to the roasted red pepper soup. So I have one onion roughly chopped, and I have four carrots roughly chopped, and four celery roughly chopped. So all of these ingredients are going to sit in here for about 10 minutes with the addition of one garlic clove and we're going to sweat them. So right now we can hear them sizzling and if I keep doing that, we'll start to brown the vegetables, but that's not what I want. Sweating the vegetables is, ah. Sweating the vegetables means that I put the lid on the top and I use the moisture from the vegetables to cook the vegetables and soften them up. So my heat is on medium high and right now there will not be any browning. It's just gonna kind of stew and kind of boil in itself. Um, as the vegetables release their liquid. As that is going on, I'm going to start on these peppers. And once they cool, these are still a little hot, but the skin is a lot easier to take off and take out the middle and all of the seeds. We don't need that in the soup. You'll notice at the bottom of your bowl where the peppers are, there's a bunch of juice. Hold on to that because we will need that when we're making the soup. So I'm gonna continue working on these. I'm gonna add a little bit of water now that that's gotten going. Add some hot water, boiling water, so you don't have to have that, so the pot doesn't have to bring the water back up to temperature. And then enough water to cover the vegetables. So a little bit more. And this will become part of the soup, like a vegetable broth. All right, so that's about 10 minutes. I'm gonna continue peeling the peppers. So our vegetables here are nice and sweated and they're feeling good and tender. We're ready to make the soup. All my bell peppers have been de-skinned and I've removed the majority of the seeds. If you have a little bit of seed in there, that's okay. If you couldn't get off all of the skin because there were some tricky areas, that's okay too. Don't fret. Okay, get these in here. They smell good and roasted. Let's get some of that mirepoix and broth into the blender. Because we're putting this soup in a blender, that's why you can just roughly chop your vegetables. They don't need to be finely chopped or anything. Let's blend this up. So we can see once you blend, the soup starts to get really thick and that's why I recommended keeping that water from the roasted red peppers. So I have about a half a cup in there. Let's add that in. And then I'm also gonna get some more water from the stewing, from the sweating. So we don't want too thick of a soup. Good. I'm gonna add a healthy couple teaspoons of salt. Many of these vegetables are gonna be sweet, but if we're making just a vegetable soup, vegetables like salt. But add along the way and taste along the way. Okay, keep blending. So into a bowl. It's thick because it's, you know, puree-ish but just a nice consistency for soup. And then I have a little crumb fresh here. And get myself a fork. You can just draw your fork through there. Kind of spread it around. 
There we go. Making into a lovely design. The roasted red pepper soup is done and ready for dinner. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see me prepare any other recipes, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com and in the meantime, check out our other videos.